It's no good looking at me with that Anne Robinson face. I'll look at you any way I like. Oh, <laughs> well, at least I am trying to do something about it. And what exactly are you doing? I'm after a stockbroker. You've already got a stockbroker. That is the one I'm after. <laughs> Why didn't he tell me that the stock market was going to crash? He phoned you at least six times. I phoned you on the Monday and said he had to speak to you urgently, but you were too busy to speak to him. Well, I was water skiing. <laughs> you just wasted our bloody birthright. And then, Trotter's independent traders hired a helicopter to fly to Nice to collect some magazines. Oh, unbelievable! That was you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm a big man, I've got broad shoulders. The buck stops here, I take full responsibility. Even though it was Rodney's fault. Me? <laughs> How the hell was it my fault? You were the company's director of administration. That just meant Rodney organised the Christmas parties. Yeah, and they were about as exciting as a Buddhist ten night. <laughs> you were the managing director, you were the chairman, you were the chief executive and you were the president. Oh, it's my fault now, is it? Either you or this is the Chinese year of the dodo. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't lay all the blame at Derek's door. Mm. I know it's tempting. <laughs> so why is it, whenever we've got something good going, anything that remotely resembles a future, he nauses it up? That's just the way he is. Thank you. <laughs> and it's unfair of you to blame Rodney for all of this. After all, he is your brother. Yes, and just like a brother, he's let me down all his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, if I've always been such a letdown, why did you insist on having me around? To keep my promise to Mum. And you never know when you might need some bone marrow. <laughs> Cassandra, answer that phone, will you, please? Yes, sir. Straight away, sir. Don't worry. This time next year, we're going to be millionaires. This time last week, we were millionaires! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well. Well, go in the kitchen, then. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Look, I've worked it all out. I'm serious. I've worked out a way in which we can make £100,000. Now, invest that wisely. Uh, invest, invest that wisely. wisely. In invest it wisely, and before you know where you are, you and I can buy a nice little gaff each. All right. Huh? Go on, then. What's the plan? Well, I wasn't going to say nothing, right? You know, but, well, OK. You ready? I'm going to apply to go on that new game show, The Gold Rush. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something amusing? Derek, last night one of the questions was, who introduced the potato to England? And you said King Edward. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the question properly. <laughs> oh, look, Del, look. If you want to appear on the telly, why don't I try for something more simple? Like go on stars in their eyes as Barry White. 